Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyrecker, back at you another review. And today we'll be taking a look at the AEW Unrivaled Series 14 Swerve Strickland. Yep, that's right. Like a lot of you, I've been waiting for a Swerve Strickland figure for quite a while because, you know, freaking love the guy. He's on fire lately. And was definitely looking forward to this one. I got a good deal um, for him on eBay recently because since he sold out in Ringside and the prices on Amazon were a little ridiculous. But of course, after I paid for it, price went down. What the heck? Ironic, isn't it? Anyways, excited to see if this figure lives up to the hype or or or, um, or is a disappointment. But we'll find out. First things first, packaging, of course. Of course, got the standard AW uh, banner at the top there. Uh, Swerve Strickland. He is number 126. Damn. Series 14. Got a picture of Swerve. His secret letter is a C right there. Same thing over here, number 126, series 14. On the back, picture of Swerve. This is from Rampage, March 11th, 2022. Which, obviously, this is from his tag team run with Keith Lee. This is not singles Swerve Strickland, like, 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 like what he's doing currently. But hopefully we get an updated figure soon. Then down below, we got the other figures in the set. We got Keith Lee, Tony Storm, Ricky Starks, and of course the Acclaimed. I plan to get all of these. The only one I'm kind of skeptical about is Keith Lee because he's a little bit too skinny in my opinion. But we'll see how he is in person. But the ones, the next ones on my list is definitely Anthony Bowens and Max Caster. Definitely those two. So I cannot, So those two will be next. And then Keith Lee. And then possibly Tony Storm and Ricky Starks. Billy Gunn, since he's the chase of the set, he might be a little tricky to find. But we'll see. Anyways, that does it for the package. Let's open up Swerve Strickland and see what we have. All right, we'll so here's Swerve out of his packaging. And for his first AEW figure, excellent figure. Fantastic. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's still a really great figure. Anyways, let's take a look. Right, first up, his accessories. He comes with uh, two pairs of hands. He's got these standard fists and the standard grip. However, one hand looks a little bit more closed. I don't know, maybe it was warped in the packaging. Who knows? Comes with these very, very flimsy uh, glasses, which I hate these glasses. I mean, they look good on him, but they are so flimsy. Like, these things are going to break in no time. I wish they would have used, like, a stronger uh, plastic on these. I mean, I don't mind them being flimsy, but these are way too flimsy. Uh, they feel almost like bootleg. It is whatever. And finally, he comes with this really cool jacket. Which, unfortunately, it is rubber. But I can see why with this one. Because if this was fabric or something, there's no way they would have been able to give us all this detail on it. I mean, possibly they would have, but it wouldn't have looked right. Here, it looks pretty good. But let's see the type of rubber it is. Uh, it feels like the harder rubber, so this is going to be a pain in the butt to, to take off. Oh. No, not too bad. That's kind of stuck on his hand there. Hang on a sec. I think it's stuck on his uh, gripping hand. The other hand was easy because it, it was a fist. Yep. And I just pulled his hand out. So I would say if you definitely have the gripping hands on, the, you might want to take those off first. Uh, before you take the jacket off. If you have the fists on him, it, it won't be a problem. Might as well put the other fist on him because I don't feel like messing uh, with the hand that's stuck in the sleeve. I'll get it out later. Anyways, here's Swerve, ready for action. And like I said, he looks great. Starting off with the face, I was a little mixed on this face when I saw the pictures of it, but in person, it's pretty good. Pretty good face. However, I'm noticing that a lot of these, the uh, the true effects or face printing, whatever you want to call it, has been kind of sloppy on the eyes and the uh, the grills in his teeth. But here it looks like I got a decent one. Because if you get a good one, it's a pretty good, pretty good head sculpt. Uh, his hair looks uh, looks nice. It's a tiny bit flimsy, a little bit, but it's fine. It's not so flimsy like the glasses are. Moving down, a uh, good torso choice. Not too bulky, not too skinny. Yeah, he's got his tattoos. So it could be pretty decent. He's even got the tattoo there on his back. Uh, standard uh, white wrist tape, which is molded. It's not just painted. 
which is a nice touch. And here's here's what surprised me, and that was the uh, the belts. They could have easily just painted this like they have on other figures, but nope, they actually molded it. So thank you, Jazzwares. Great. And then moving down to his pants, super toyetic uh, with the purple and the orange. It says swerve on one side. It has a, kind of like a skull design on the side there. Very toyetic. As I mentioned, this is way outdated. This is from his uh, tag team run. So hopefully we get an updated one at some point. But they picked a good, uh, tight choice for his first figure. If you want to make it toyetic, this is definitely the most toyetic he's done during his tag team run. Looks great. Uh, mine has a couple scuffs, but that, that's okay. I can touch that up. Uh, standard uh, orange knee pads with a little white on the back there. He's silver going down. Which I'm afraid the silver is going to fade over time because in my experience, whenever toy companies use silver on figures, it fades over time quite a bit, just like uh, gold paint does. So definitely be aware of that. And very tiny black boots. This might be a new mold. I don't know if I've seen this before uh, from AEW. Looks like a new mold. But if it is, cool. If not, that's fine too because I know companies like to reuse parts all the time. Like I know these hands are an older mold. Articulation is standard for the AEW figures. Uh, his head's a little wobbly. Uh, head rotates 360. Of course, has the hinge of the neck there, so it can go up and down. I always love that ratcheting uh, hinge. Arms can rotate 360. In and out, ratcheting. Rotate the bicep. Double jointed elbow. Love that. Rotate the wrist and then the hinge. But mine's very tight because I just opened it, as I mentioned. Of course, has the upper torso. Uh, kind of swivel the waist a little bit. Go forward and back a little bit. Legs forward and back. And now, uh, thigh. Uh, double joint knee. It would have been nice if it had, like, a calf cut down here. Like, a swivel of the calf. Like, WWE does with their John Cena figures. He has, like, a calf joint up here. But he does have a swivel at the boot. And he does have a hinge at the ankle. And the pivot. So pretty good. Like I said, it would have been nice if he had the uh, the calf swivel in his lower leg, but uh, that's not necessary. But it would have been nice. Let's say for a first attempt, for a, definitely a great way to debut Swerve in the figure line. Jazzwares, you nailed it. Quick final thoughts overall for a first attempt at Swerve. Jazzwares nailed it with this one. Like I love it. Only real complaints with it is of course the uh, the jacket's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, sometimes and also the glasses super flimsy and it would have been nice if the uh if it had a little swivel joint at the lower leg but it's not necessary but still would have been nice for certain poses but really is despite its few flaws i mentioned great figures so if you can find him for a good price or if you're lucky enough to find him in the store because i know series 14 is popping up in stores lately my stores unfortunately do not because they suck but either way, if you can get him in the store or find him online for a good price, this is definitely one of the must-have figures. It might be one of the top 10 best AEW figures of the year. So I would say if you can get him, snatch him up. Definitely a great addition to your collection. Hopefully get an updated one in the future. But looking forward to that. Anyways, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my AEW figure reviews playlist. Check out every AEW review I've done up to this point. And be sure to subscribe and ring, ring the bell so you don't miss a single review. And stay tuned for more reviews of not just w, uh, AEW action figures, but WE action figures, toy hunts, stop motions, shorts, maybe some New Japan figures here and there, and a whole lot more. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, remember, you can't touch my dream and you can't touch my soul. I'm out. Take care, guys. Bye.